Okay, I'm back and we're moving right along. So let's uh, continue where we left off at. All right, next up is another remake, and that is uh, Friday the 13th. Uh, I thought it was a pretty decent remake. I mean, it wasn't great or anything like that, or mind bending, you know, anything, nothing too spectacular. I did like the fact that they added four uh, elements from the first part, um, first four parts of the series, of the original series. I did like that. Uh, stars uh, Jared Petlecki from uh, Supernatural fame. And like I said, it's pretty good. Derek Mills does a, a good job as uh, Jason Voorhees. Um, so that is Friday the 13th, the remake. Um, I do have the original Friday the 13th. I just don't have it in this section right here because it's part of the uh, Blu-ray the Blu-ray that I have. So you'll see that later on. So And because I don't own part two, I'm going to have to skip to... Friday the 13th Part 3, which is not in 3D because I have the original case, the original DVD of it, not the uh, 3D version, which I would like to see it in 3D, just going to have to wait a while before I get that DVD or whatever. There it is, Part 3, and this is uh, one of the, Jason Voorhees in this one played by Richard Brooker is one of the two that are my favorites. Uh, so there it is, Friday the 13th Part 3. Moving right along. Here we are to my favorite movie of the series, and also my favorite Jason is in this movie. And that is Friday the 13th Part 4, The Final Chapter, which starred Corey Feldman and Ted White as Jason Voorhees. Like I say, this is my favorite of the whole series. I don't know why. I guess because of the way his kills are and everything like that, and the movie as a whole is kind of a finale has a finale feel to it, even though it was not the ending of it. But like I say, this like I say, this is my favorite one, and I really don't want to talk too much about it or anything like that. Probably do a review of it and give more in depth detail. But Friday the Thirteenth Part Four, the final chapter. Moving right along, I don't own Part Five yet, so have to move on to Friday the Thirteenth Part Six, Jason Lives, which stars Tom Matthews. Ugh, me. And like I said, I really like this one. This is one of my also one of my favorites of the series too. I think this would probably be number three on my list behind uh, part four and part three. Um, part six here is up, definitely up there on the list for me. Uh, so here it is, Jason. Jason lives. Moving right along. Next up is uh, the first one that Kane Hodder makes his appearance in, and that is Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven: The New Blood. Right here, like I say, this one here stars uh, Kane Hodder as Jason Voorhees makes his first appearance, first of four appearances as the man behind the mask right there. Moving right along, next up is the other um, film that by Peter Jackson, I think anyone who hasn't seen his earlier work should check out. Uh, here it is, The Frighteners coming right at you like that. There it is, stars Michael J. Fox, and like I said, it was directed by Peter Jackson. Good little ghost type of movie. Co-stars are D. Wallace Stone and uh, Jake Busey. It's a pretty good movie. If you haven't seen that, I should think you should check it out. Um, moving right along, this is the first of many that are going to appear later on by horror director icon, in my opinion, and that is John Carpenter, and this is his film, John Carpenter's The Fog. Starring uh, the man Tom Math Tom Atkins Tom Matthews Tom Atkins Wow stars Tom Atkins Jamie Lee Curtis Janet Lee Hal Holbrook like I said just all around even though it's a simple ghost story type movie oh and Adrian Barbo can't forget her as well even though it's a simple um ghost story type movie but it is done very very well. If you haven't seen this one, I suggest check it out and forget about the remake because the remake was horrible. So, the original here with John Carpenter, The Fog. Moving right along. Movie that kind of kick-started George Clooney's uh, movie career, and that is From Dust Till Dawn, which was written by Quentin Tarantino and star and directed by um, Robert Rodriguez, Quentin Tarantino co-stars along with George Clooney, Harvey Keitel, Juliette Lewis, uh, Fred Williamson, and special makeup effects um, icon Tom Savini is in this movie as well. 
a very good movie. I mean, there are sequels to it, and those aren't really as good as this one. So I just I suggest that you check this one out if you haven't seen it. Moving right along, another movie by Robert Rodriguez, and that is Grindhouse Presents Planet Terror, which stars uh, Rose McGowan, Freddie Rodriguez, uh, Michael Bean, uh, Josh Brolin, uh, Marlene Sheldon, just to name a few. Like I said, it was written and directed by um, Robert Rodriguez, just all around great flick. Plus, you got uh, Bruce Willis makes a cameo and Rose with her machine gun leg. There it is on the back as well. Look at that. All right, moving right along. It is not, not the original and might get blasted for this, but it's the only one of the series that I own so far. I will get part one and part two of this. Maybe none of the other sequels. Well, maybe part three. Part three is pretty decent, but after that, I doubt I get any more. And that is Hellraiser, Hellseeker. It was the return of uh, Ashley Lawrence uh, reprising her role as a uh, Christy Cotton in this one, and it also co-stars Dean Winter. It was pretty decent. The time that I only, I only watched this movie like once. It's pretty decent when I saw it. Nothing too great. Anything like that. I mean, Doug Bradley is. Great always as Pinhead, even though the sequels got worse and worse as they progressed. But it's pretty decent if you are a fan of the series. So there it is. Moving right along. Um, the original two, uh, the pre well, the original two of uh, Devil's Rejects, and that is House of a Thousand Corpses, which uh, once again will star uh, Sid Haig, Bill Mosley, and Sherry Moore Zombie, and was written and directed by her. Her husband, Rob Zombie. There it is. Moving right along here. Now, I'm not really big on this movie, but I mean, it is it is what it is basically. And that movie is House of the Dead. Like I said, it's not a great you know movie or anything like that. It's entertaining enough and everything. I just because I like movies like this anyway, so I uh, bought it. I think I bought it for like uh, $3.99. I still feel like I paid too much for it, but there it is. House of the Dead. Moving right along here is a, uh, a sci-fi original. I'll probably do a, movie, a review or a video or something on uh, sci-fi originals explaining more in depth about it. But anyway, here it is. Uh, a movie called Infestation, which uh, stars Chris Marquette and uh, Ray Wise. And like I say, it was a pretty good, even though it was a sci-fi movie, sci-fi original movie, but it was uh, pretty good. I liked it enough to uh, buy it, of course. And there it is, Infestation. If you haven't seen it, I suggest checking it out if you like these uh, monster-type movies. Moving right along here. This movie is considered a classic, and it is a classic by all means, by every sense of the word. One of the very first blockbusters to hit back in the uh, mid-70s, and that movie is Jaws. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it stars uh, Roy Scheider, uh, Richard Dreyfuss, and Robert Shaw as Quint. Quint gives a great uh, monologue here about the USS Annapolis, Indianapolis. And that's one of my favorite scenes in the movie. The last part with the three men on the boat against the shark is probably some of the best filmmaking in movie history, in my opinion. And it was, written, it was directed by uh, Steven Spielberg. So there it is, Jones. Moving right along, here's another uh, childhood of... Uh, movie uh, favorite of mine and that is Killer Clowns from Outer Space Excuse me about it. there it is it is considered a cult classic and it is by all means I mean this movie is over the top and everything but it still is an enjoyable movie if you haven't seen it I highly recommend checking it out our next up is Land Land of the Dead now the reason why I have my hand covering it here if you've seen my other uh, video about uh, George Romero landed about this um, movie in particular excuse me movie in particular you know why I'm not saying anything about this one so if you watch the other video you'll see why I don't say it. I'm not saying anything about the Don of the Dead on here uh, but anyway I got this mainly for Land of the Dead so it's pretty good um, sequel to the continuing uh, dead series that George Romero has here and there it is land of the dead all right moving right along and this is the last one that I'm going to do for this video and that is uh, the remake of uh, last house on the left 
I haven't seen this one yet. I had this on a previous video explaining why I haven't watched it yet. So that's all I'm going to say on that there. And I will be right back with another video continuing on my horror movie collection. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Peace.